Coming right up, the Clippers take it on the Nets. For Los Angeles, fourth place in the conference. There are no slouches in the competitive West. Nets, Clippers, coming up next, right after this. Good to have you with us on a Sunday afternoon for basketball here on 2K Sports. Alongside Grant Hill and Brent Berry, I'm Brian Anderson. Also with us tonight, our reporter, Ali LaForce. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Russell Westbrook. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. And checking out Brooklyn's opening lineup. Sharp out there with Johnson. Then it's Nicholas Claxton. Then it's Dennis Schroeder. And it's Bridges in at the two. And for the Clippers, filling out the wings, it's Mann and George. Kawhi and Zubats make up the front court, And it's Harden in at the one spot. And both of these teams we'll be seeing tonight are simply fantastic from distance, Grant. Well, one thing about the NBA right now is that no lead is ever safe. You know, most games in the league are like that with all the three-point shooting capabilities. So you can never count out a team in this day's game. It'll be the Nets off the tip. Hey, hey get on Dennis. Schroeder with it. Harden picks him up. You know, Grant, what's interesting about the Clippers, they play solid defense, even though they're not overly disruptive. Well, B.A., think about this. So many veterans, they know how to position themselves. They know where the help is coming from, too. And, of course, they know when to pick their spots. First free throw is good. And Grant, this Nets team trying to set their identity at the defensive end of the floor. Yeah, well, with the players they have on the wings, led by Mikael Bridges, they have the personnel to be disruptive. Long, mobile, and switchable. They give you lots of trouble. And both free throws good for Schroeder. And without a superstar scorer, Grant, the question has always been, how does this Nets team generate enough offense? Yeah, well, hero ball is not going to work. I mean, they've got to push the pace and trust one another and go from good shot to great shot. Johnson with it. Guarded now by George. The shot by Johnson, no good. And so it's George with it. He brings it up for the L.A. Clippers. They traveled to Brooklyn last time they faced the Nets. Came away with a win. They were able to pull out a win last time because their bench came up big. It's so important to have depth on your roster. Probably looking for more of the same here. As we know, a deep bench so crucial to any team's success. Here's Schroeder following the score by the Clippers. Bridges outside. Pass to Sharp. Outside Johnson. Six on the shot clock. And George with some nice D. Fires the three. Brooklyn with the board. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game play. And guys, it really was a thrilling duel all the way to the end. You, you hated to see anyone walk away the loser. Yeah, I bet it was pretty quiet in that locker room after that game. When it hit overtime, it was a matter of which team had more energy left. And seemingly, it wasn't them. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Watch outside. Leonard outside. 
Zubac, the screen. Goes up from the top of the key. Leonard can't get it to go. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Johnson against George. It's Bridges on the wing. And they're running. And Harden with the slam. Well, Leonard usually has humble assist numbers, but that doesn't mean he's not going to keep his eyes open. The Nets have gone one for three so far. Schroeder against Harden. Pass to Sharp over Leonard. It's rebounded by Zubats. The Clippers have gone just two for four from the floor. George for three, and he's in the books. Now one for two. So consistent throughout the years from deep. That's what has made Paul George very special. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Here's Bridges. And he buries his first look. We see this every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. Harden with it. Coming off a solid outing against Oklahoma City. Pass to Leonard. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And this is who he has become. Leonard, with the great body control, takes the hit and still able to sink the shot and one. You know, when the Clippers first moved to L.A., people assumed they'd be second fiddle to the Lakers. Not necessarily the case. Well, B.A., to, to be honest with you, they were for a long time. And then they moved into this building. There was a bit of a shift, and the Clippers started dominating the regular season. They don't have the championship, but I'll tell you what, a powerful owner and a couple star players, that'll flip the faithful around for you. Now here's Harden. And you look at his numbers, just over 21 a game. George against Johnson. No good that time. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for the Nets. They trail by three. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Ivica Zubats. All right, Grant, we're now in the middle of the season. Lots of miles traveled by everyone, including broadcasters. You got a favorite NBA city? Hey, B.A., you are spot on, especially when it comes to us broadcasters. But a favorite NBA city? You know, I've always liked Atlanta. Can't get the first one. Well, Cam Johnson's such a deadly three-point shooter. If he's able to get to the line, it could make him an elite scorer. And he sinks the second. And here are the Clippers now. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. And I think they were prepared to face pressure D. But that never materialized, so they took advantage. It took just a little bit of time, but once they figured out the D on that night, man, their offense was rolling. George, nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now here's Bridges. Coming off a 34-point game against the Lakers. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Pass to Zubats. George with it. Outside Harden. And they call an illegal screen That's here. Green. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. The Nets have gone three of six from the floor. Here's Schroeder. Coming off a 16-point game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Right wing. Three-pointer. The rebound by Mann. For Los Angeles, they've gone 5 of 8. Solid opening quarter for them. Three-pointer, Harden. Brooklyn with the board. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Johnson on the wing. Bridges, right side. Oh, 
it misses. Had a chance to tie it. Harden against Schroeder. It's George on the wing. Leonard finds some space. And the Clippers miss again. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Here's Schroeder. Rejected by George. Known as a tough defender, George so good at reading shooters and getting to those shot attempts. Leonard with the ball. He's picked up by Schroeder. Schroeder against Leonard. Goes to the fadeaway. Leonard's got seven. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Screen by Bridges. Here's Schroeder. Up and in on the layup. Well, if you read the scouting report on Schroeder, he likes to get into the basket as close as possible because he's usually good from there. The Clippers have gone 6 of 11 so far. Leonard, left side. Second chance shot. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's on Nick Claxton. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. All right, Grant, talking about Avica Zubac, what do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. I mean, he's willing to challenge shots at the rim, refusing to give anything easy. He misses the free throw. They get so much effort and energy from Zubac, especially on the glass, Brent. Well, he's the kind of guy, B.A., I don't think any other opponent wants to face on a given night. A relentless big man that's physical, that plays around the rim, that doesn't mind contact. This guy's willing to sacrifice his body every minute he's on the floor. Now here's Schroeder. Right now contributing around 10.5 points a game. Bridges. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Terrific defense from Zubats. His team relies on him to help alter shots. Count that bucket. He has seven. All right, let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Yeah, I love the energy and aggressiveness I've seen from them on defense. They're really getting after it with all these blocks. Well, one thing that's noticeable is just tremendous energy from everybody, and they put that into their transition play, and all that hustle is paying off. In transition, here come the Clippers. Leonard can't get it to go. Brooklyn trailing. Johnson passes to Schroeder. Johnson a screen on Harden. Back to Johnson. Plenty of space. That one rolls around and rims out. And here's George. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Wing shot on the way. Doesn't go for him. Brooklyn's gone one or two from three-point land so far. Now Schroeder. Outside Johnson. And here's Claxton. Down to five on the shot clock. And again, it's the Nets missing. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Schroeder passes to Sharp. And that one is hammered home! And trust me, Dennis Schroeder would love to score the basketball, but his ability to set up his teammates is also effective. George with it, and Johnson picks him up defensively. George with the bucket. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Timeout called. The Nets. So for the Clippers, Plumlee's checked in for Zubats. Norm Powell comes in for Mann. And it's Russell Westbrook in for Harden.
And for the Nets, they're shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Pass to Claxton. Here's Thomas. Powell covers. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. And here are the Clippers now. Westbrook outside. Knocks down the triple. Well, Russell jumps pretty high on his three-point shot, so tough for smaller guards to challenge it. Here's Thomas, coming off a 16-point game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Uh, his passing another high point in that game. He made sure it wasn't all about him. He wanted to get his teammates involved. Here's Thomas, trailing by five. Four on the clock. And there's another one for the Nets. And the Clippers have possession. Westbrook taking his time here. Pass to George. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got his fourth rebound in this one. Thomas passes to Finney Smith. Yep, that one's good. Well, you gotta like his choice right there to go hard to the rack. Took it right at the teeth of the defense. Los Angeles has gone two for four from range to start things off. To the inside. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. And the level of activity these guys bring to defense is special. Here are the league's leaders in steals. Mikhail Bridges is second. And of course Kawhi Leonard. These two are a problem for opposing offenses. Quick, active hands. They pounce on your mistakes. hits them both Brooklyn has gone one for three from beyond the arc here's Thomas outside Schroeder back to Thomas it's rebounded by George the Clippers in the lead Westbrook outside Now here's George. Defense right on him. And the bucket is good. That's a reliable offensive option right there. Shooting with consistency as Paul George can get you from a number of spots. Schroeder passes to Thomas. Fires the three. Plumley pulls down the board. Leonard looking over the floor. Let's it go from 14. And again, it's the Clippers. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? Outside Schroeder. Back to Thomas. Six to shoot. Pass to Finney Smith. Over Leonard. And the Nets miss again. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. For three, George. Here's Plumley, And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. And the Clippers lead by nine. Well, don't get surprised by that burst from Plumley. He crashes in for the rebound, has the athleticism, and finishes with authority. Forty-one seconds left in the first. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And Claxton gets the bucket. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. For three, George. That doesn't go either for George. Well, the Nets shooting 43% to get this one underway. Here's Thomas. Rebound by the Clippers. George has got his fifth rebound in this one. For three, Powell. 
Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. That's on Dorian Finney-Smith. And Norman Powell, as a point getter, understands the value of the free throw. He's been over 80% for his career at the line. Three shots. Three shots. That one falls for Powell. Now Norman Powell settling in and understanding more and more of who he is at the professional level. He's a scorer and he can shoot the three at a high clip. And the second free throw is good. And he nails the third. Eight seconds left in the first. Here's Thomas. Over Westbrook. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. Paul George, he's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Los Angeles Clippers. Dominating on the glass. What a quarter. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers guys. Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. Yeah, felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and just wanted to keep trying to feed that, get out quick. And so George will bring it up for Los Angeles. 10-point lead. This is their biggest of the game. On the court right now. Second quarter for the Nets. They've got Keita Bates-Diop. Ben Simmons is out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. Then it's Mikael Bridges. And it's Thomas in at the one. It's Thomas on the wing. Pounded by Westbrook. Bates-Diop. Off target from three-point range. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Here's Westbrook. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. Westbrook's got five now. And Russell doing a great job just reading the floor that time. And knocks down a mid-range jumper. Well, Brooklyn's shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Brian, the Clippers next season will inaugurate their futuristic new home court in Inglewood, designed to give fans every comfort. And the Clippers a distinct advantage as well. Along the baseline, 5,000 fans will fill 51 uninterrupted rows. The section, nicknamed The Wall, is acoustically designed to be loud. So, Brian, better get ready. <laughs> Turn it up. Thanks, Alec. Great job by Norman Powell off the catch. Here's Thomas. It's Bridges on the wing. He buries it from three. He's got five. The D is there, but not present enough. And you can't just be there. You got to disrupt and get in the face of the shooter. The Clippers have got two of three shots to go in the second. Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. Back to Plumley. Pass to Westbrook. Clock at six. 
The Clippers got to hurry. Late clock here. Tucker, no good. Brooklyn has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Outside, Finney Smith. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. They are shooting it well from beyond the arc right now. Now here's Westbrook. He's got five. Powell passes to George. And that one hits the back iron. Brooklyn's gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Here's Bridges. It's rebounded by George. George has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And one of the better defenders in the league, Grant, Mikhail Bridges. He'll lock you down. Oh, he will be a often matched up against the opponent's best scorer. And he is just so fierce. But he also helps you generate offense, hitting threes and extending the defense to create room to operate. And we've heard players asking for more clarity and accountability from the officials. Grant, you think they have a point? Well, players often ask refs to explain calls. So they also want some clarity from the league whether the refs got it right. And that information oftentimes can help them make the proper adjustments moving forward. And the first one at the line is good. Sharp, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Johnson comes in for Bates Diop. He's perfect from the line this time. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Westbrook, the pass to George. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. That doesn't go either for George. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Here's Thomas, pounded by Westbrook. For three, Bridges. Unable to get that one. Oh, great P that time from Powell. George with it, and Johnson picks him up defensively. And there's the foul. It'll go on Norman Powell. That's his first foul. So for the Clippers, Zubats comes in for Tucker, and it's James Harden in for Powell. Brooklyn with the ball. Good momentum, eight straight points. Bridges outside. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, nice shot by Finney Smith. Well, he passes to the wide open man, Bridges, developing some team chemistry. And the Clippers time out, time out. call time here. They're just giving away a run right. right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. And some of the best high flyers in the NBA. Some of this year's contenders for the dunk contest. And when you look at the names on that list, you just know that contest has a chance to be special. Well, you look at Claxton. And I could see him moving even higher up in the ranks. He's certainly a talented guy up in the air. He is for sure, but this list is just packed with real aerial artists. This dunk contest is really going to be something special. And as All-Star Weekend gets closer, we'll of course update you on how things are looking. But this year already promises plenty of standout performances. Yeah, this is going to be a dunk contest you don't want to miss. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Bridges passes to Finney Smith. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. They've led by as many as 14. Here's Finney Smith. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Plumley's got four rebounds now. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Basket counts. Well, Russell looking to shoot as soon as he's in attack mode. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on an 11-2 run. 
Pass to Johnson. The three ball. Knocks down the long J. Johnson's got nine. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. The Clippers in the lead. Harden with it. And Harden gets the double team. Inside. Deflects the pass. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Bridges. Wondering how the West is shaping up? Well, the midseason grind is in full force. Let's check out the standings. Taking a look at Los Angeles. They're currently in fourth place and trying their best to get a better seating. I think for Los Angeles, what's impressive is they've reached much of their potential this year. The big question, though, people are asking is, do they have what it takes to become a front runner? They still had enough players take positive steps forward to call this season a success. Maybe they're not at the top of the standings where they'd hope they'd be, but they're in really good position in terms of the playoff picture. Now here's Zubats. Still no points. As a big, once you get position inside, it allows you to fight and come away with a lot of tough boards. Pass to Claxton. Bridges outside. There's the three. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. On defense, the Nets. They've only given up six here in this quarter. For three, George. Oh, my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It's going to be on Cameron Johnson. When you think about Paul George, still regarded as an elite two-way player, Brent. Yeah, you get that dynamic play on the offensive end where he's capable of 35 points any given night. But defensively, shutting down a team's perimeter all-star, that is rarefied air for a star Let's player start. in this league. You look at the massive hauls that have been received in the trades with Paul George. That should tell you how valuable PG is. Now here's Bridges. He's got five. Outside Johnson. Back to Bridges. Pass to Claxton. It's Thomas on the wing. No good on the three. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Here's Harden. And then Harden with the jam. If given the space, Harden's not afraid to take it to the rim. Brooklyn's gotten only four of nine from beyond the arc here in the second. Here's Thomas. He's got six. Pass to Sharp. Just five on the clock. Back to Claxton. And the Nets miss again. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Bridges outside. Looking to get back on track. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And Bridges really likes to get to the interior and earn himself some opportunities from the charity strike. the first trying their best to catch up can't fault their performance from the line especially this quarter Schroeder he's checked in for Brooklyn oh, 
Bridges hits them both. Uh, Bridges is shooting a high percentage, and the game really does come naturally to him. Harden from outside. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Now Schroeder. Outside Johnson. Bridges outside. From downtown. Gets the three to fall. Bridges has got eight here in this quarter. Now we've seen Bridges' offense take a considerable leap. Change of scenery. This guy getting assertive and attacking is a good thing. Now here's Harden. Leonard on the wing. Second chance effort. Got a piece of it. Two box inside. Working on Claxton. Brooklyn's gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Johnson on the wing. George defending. Schroeder against Harden. Tipped. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. His first shot attempt. Man misses. Brooklyn trailing. Left side shooter. Sharp passes to Bridges. Now shooter. Goes up at the strike. And he hits the jumper for two. Schroeder's got six. Great move off the dribble from Schroeder there to lose the defense. Time, out, time, time out. called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. And the Clippers making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. And the Nets also making a change. Thomas, he's checked in for Bridges. Harden against Schroeder. Leonard on the wing. He had 28 points in the win against Oklahoma City. Lest us not forget about the work on the glass. His effort level was a 10 that night out of 10. His big time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, B.A. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. It's a close game here in L.A. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Thomas. And here's Johnson. Fires from deep. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. Leonard's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Mann. They swipe it. Oh, deflected. It's stolen by Leonard. Harden from outside. The rebound by the Nets. This game is so close. One or two plays could make the difference. It's so imperative to try to make each trip count. Pass to Sharp. It's Thomas on the wing. Hounded by Westbrook. Thomas, that's good. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. They've led by as many as 14. Here's Mann. And here's Harden. And he drives in. It's deflected. Now here's Schroeder. 143 left in the second. Pass to Sharp. And Kawhi Leonard gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. The Clippers on D. 
to the middle. Here's Claxton. He's been off the mark since the start of the second quarter. Shots aren't dropping like they were early. It's stolen by Johnson to the paint. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. And you love the selfless attitude right there from Johnson. Nice feed to the open man. Pass to Westbrook. Zubats with it. Covered by Schroeder. That's tipped. 59 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Here's Thomas. And counted. Now four for nine. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Brooklyn. Well, their hands resulting in plenty of steals in the early going. Keeping the opposition there off balance. And they've sort of assumed control of this game with their pressure defensively. They've been into the ball handler. They've done a great job of swarming. So they're creating some turnovers that they're capitalizing on. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. Coach loves the execution, just not the result. That's okay. That's part of the process. Leonard up top. Seven points in the game. Pass to Westbrook. Back to Leonard. Shot clock at six. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Leonard's got ten. Always a threat from range. Give Kawhi those looks. That's at your own risk. The kick out to Johnson. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. It's all tied in Los Angeles. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Halftime show coming at you. Paul George has been electric here so far. Few players can change the game with their rebounding, but he's one of them, making a huge impact in there. He certainly helped them set a physical tone in the first half. His intensity, off the charts. Shifting focus, let's take a look at the guys who could have a potential spot in this year's three-point contest. Every one of these guys can put on a clinic shooting the ball. In this year's three-point contest, I predict a plethora of perfect racks. Ooh. Nice alliteration there, Dr. O'Neill. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second-half action with Brian Anderson and company. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Paul George has been sensational. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. The Clippers shooting 40% from the field in this one. George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Terrence Mann is out there with James Harden. And it's Zubats in at the center position. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Now here's Leonard. Leonard just muscles his way in. And the strength of Leonard really undeniable, showcasing it to the defense right there. Brooklyn has got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. Pass to Claxton. Down low. Here's Bridges. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. 12 points for him. Looks like they're going to keep pounding it inside for as long as they can. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, James Harden is not worried about his legacy. He said, quote, I'm going to be remembered in basketball. I'm one of the people who changed the game. Honestly, the only thing I'm missing is a championship. But, Brian, he is not stressing. He said, the moment I stop having fun, I'll be done. Yeah, march into the beat of his own drum, Allie. Thank you. Bridges. And there's the rejection. 
Harden surveying the D. George against Johnson. Launches the three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Greg. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Just aggressive and effective, taking it right to the defense. Well, great start. Check that box. They've made their first four shots, guys, and the offense looking very fluid right now. Brooklyn trailing. Bridges passes to Schroeder. Claxton with it. Pass to Bridges. Shot clock at five. There's the screen by Johnson. And the Nets miss again. And so it's Leonard who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Now here's Leonard. He's got 14. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. And a quick check-in with the leaderboard. Here are the NBA's top rebounders. Well, you look at Claxton. His consistent effort makes him one of the top rebounders in this league. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. First one falls for him. The potential Schroeder has is pretty exciting. Such a lightning-quick point guard. And so he hits both. Here's Harden. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to Leonard. Over Sharp. Leonard can't get it to go. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. Schroeder against Harden. Now here's Johnson. 4-3. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubac has got 11 rebounds in the game. The free throw drops for Leonard. Just think of how much of a difference Kawhi Leonard is for this team. When he's healthy, he is an absolute force. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Zubats with a screen on Schroeder. Harden, the pass to Leonard. George outside. Let's go with a three. The rebound by Bridges. The Nets have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. It's sharp on the wing. Back to Bridges. Pass to Schroeder. Here's Sharp. Johnson with it. Down to five on the shot clock. George with a steal. There's the drive. And George with the jam. Just cutting right there to the spot he wanted to get to. Paul George being very aggressive on that play. Schroeder against Harden. Schroeder passes to Bridges. That one falls. Coming off Schroeder's feed. Schroeder's got three assists now in this one. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Now here's Leonard. He's got 15. And yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Out to Bridges. Outside Johnson. The three ball. Paul George pulls it in. George has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. 
That shot wide open. Harden's got seven points in the game. Their long-range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Okay, a chance to look at some numbers for Dennis Schroeder. And currently, he's in the zone. A tremendous feel for the game. His assist numbers these past five games look a lot different from the rest of the season. And by different, I mean better. Here's Schroeder. Give him eight points now. Pass to Bridges. Unloads from 13. The rebound by Mann. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. It's George on the wing. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Nets. Sharp's got six rebounds here tonight. Johnson finds Bridges. Shoots over George. And again, it's the Nets missing. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's Leonard. Rebounded by the Nets. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. And let's see what the Brooklyn Nets have coming up. On Tuesday, the New York Knicks come to town, kicking off a homestand for them. And then on Thursday, they'll be matching up against Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Home-cooked meals and their own beds might be exactly what these guys need. This squad has had a rough go of it lately, so this homestand could be just what the doctor ordered. First free throw is good. Westbrook, he's checked in for the Clippers. Bridges hits them both. They're doing some good work at the line this half. And so it's Harden with it. He brings it up for the Clippers. They've led by as many as 14. Pass to Leonard. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Leonard's got 17 points. The D keyed in too much on Harden there, leaving his man wide open. Schroeder against Harden. Now here's Schroeder. He's covered closely. Johnson with a bucket. Not an easy spot on the floor, but don't sleep on Johnson from there. The Clippers have gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Leonard outside. Over Sharp. Leonard can't get it to go. Brooklyn has gone 1 of 4 here in the third from range. Harden against Schroeder. Pass to Sharp. Screen by Bridges. Six on the shot clock. Shots good by Schroeder. And now it's just a four-point Clipper lead. And Schroeder just one of those guys with his speed, extremely difficult to guard. He gets the screen, uses the quickness. Advantage, Dennis Schroeder. Now here's Harden. He has seven. George with it. Tries the nine-footer. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Here's Schroeder. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. Los Angeles has gone two for five from three since halftime. Leonard. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got his 16th rebound on the night. Bridges against Westbrook. Outside Johnson. Oh, George with a steal. Inside. Here's Westbrook. Soft touch off the glass. He's got nine. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Clippers. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. And something else that has stood out is their up-tempo offense. I mean, these guys have been on the track all game long. They're creating high percentage looks getting out there on the fast break. 
Thomas, he's checked in for Bridges. Brooklyn trailing. Here's Schroeder. He's got 10. Pass to Sharp. It's Thomas on the wing. Pounded by Westbrook. The Clippers shooting 47% during this third quarter. Harden finds Westbrook. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. And it's a nine-point Los Angeles lead. Well, Russell carving up the defense here right now and is a master at getting up his own shot. He's really gotten better at spotting up. Here's Thomas taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. Three-pointer sharp. The shot comes out. Ooh, solid D from Leonard. Right side, Harden. It's George on the wing. Leonard up top. Rebounded by the Nets. Claxton's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to stream together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Thomas. That's bucket number five. He's five for 12 now defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the time coaches out, will out. watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him Start. give up in that situation. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Plumley's checked in for Los Angeles. Tucker comes in for Paul George. And we take a look now at the season's most efficient scorers from around the league. Well, you look at Claxton, a guy who always delivers on offense. He's been fantastic scoring the ball, shooting it at a high clip. Pass to Plumley. Back to Westbrook. Let's it go from deep. Sharp grabs the miss. Sharp's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Brooklyn's gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. I'm never quite sure what Schroeder is going to do there. Fantastic at forcing the D to hit him while he was shooting that one. He drops the first. Powell, he's checked in for Harden. And both free throws good for Schroeder. Here's Powell. He's got five. Pass to Westbrook. Plumley a screen on Schroeder. Six to shoot. Westbrook can't hit. And the Nets shooting just about 33% since this second half started. Leonard against Johnson. Back to Schroeder. Outside Johnson. And the three off target. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They've led by as many as 14. The Lakers will be traveling in to face them after this one. It's game three of a trifecta at home. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside.
Los Angeles has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Pass to Westbrook. Tucker with a screen on Schroeder. Westbrook outside. The rebound by the Nets. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. 125 left in the third quarter. And it's Thomas off the drive. Count it. That's his seventh basket of the game in 14 tries. His arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. 114 left in the third. Leonard against Johnson. For three, Powell. Claxton with a rebound. Brooklyn's gone just one of six from long distance here in the third. The shots just aren't falling. Schroeder passes to Claxton. Here's Thomas. Pounded by Westbrook. Clock at six. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. And he'll head to the line. I like that Johnson keeps his intensity. He doesn't let the foul stop him. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Brooklyn making some changes. Finney Smith checked in for Claxton. Bates Diop comes in for Sharp. And Mikhail Bridges subbed in for Schroeder. Second free throw, no good. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. Big trip to the line. He did not get all of them, but at least they hold the lead now. Westbrook outside. Out to Powell to get back on track. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists now in this one. And you can expect Westbrook to find an open shooter. And he trusted him with the pass that time. Here's Bates Diop. No points yet. 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Right through the D for the layup. Westbrook outside. Pass to Leonard. That's too easy for Leonard. Kawhi like a, a robot out there just shrugging off the contact. We're at the end of the third quarter and we've still got a close one. Clippers ahead, leading by just two. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. On the floor for Brooklyn. Dorian Finney-Smith is out there with Ben Simmons. Then it's Kata Bates-Diop. Then it's Cam Thomas. And it's Bridges in at the two spot. Westbrook, the pass to George. 
<laughs> no problems knocking that one down. George has got nine points now in the second half. Yeah, just not going to get too cute with it here. Get the ball to PG and let PG cook. Pass to Bates Dia. Launches it. Drops in the three. That's a clutch shot by a big time shooter. And where's the D? Here's George. The rebound by Ben Simmons. Brooklyn trailing. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. Three pointer. The rebound by the Nets. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Here's Thomas. Out to Bridges. No good there. Excellent D there from Westbrook. And out of bounds. The Nets will take it. For Brooklyn, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They've led by as many as 14. George outside. Three-pointer. Five on the clock. Connects from downtown. George has got five points now this quarter. Well, he now has four three-pointers this game, guys. Two in each half. He's really spacing out the floor for his teammates. Simmons finds Bridges. That one no good. Just not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Pass to Tucker. Here's Plumley. George passes to Westbrook. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. George has got six assists now in the game. Timeout called. Brooklyn. The Clippers making a switch here. Harden's checked in. Claxton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Jacques Vaughn had some advice for the team over that last break. Point blank, he wants better shot selection. He told them, we're settling, guys. Come on. We're not being patient out there. We're not working the ball around. That has to change right now. Allie, thank you. And Brooklyn shooting only 39% so far in the game. Thomas passes to Bridges. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, Bridges doing a good job fighting hard past the foul, even after the release. And he makes a first. Bridges hits them both. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. George outside. And again, it's the Clippers. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Bridges passes to Claxton. Pass to Thomas. And it's blocked by Harden. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. And P.J. Tucker, one of those guys that we talk about as a journeyman throughout his NBA career, but there's no doubt that he's made positive impact and touches wherever it is that he's played. Now Harden. 13 feet out. Claxton with a rebound. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Here's Bates Diop. Outside Finney Smith. Six on the shot clock. 
Back to Thomas from the line. And again, it's the Nets missing. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. For three, Westbrook. That one's good. Seven for ten now. Now, the D has done a very poor job at contesting him from outside, guys. He's tearing into them right now, and they cannot stop him. Now here's Bridges. Pass to Thomas. To the inside. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Now here's Plumley. Here's George. Westbrook outside. And George gets it to go on the assist by Westbrook. George has got nine points in the quarter. The Nets have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Westbrook against Bridges. Here's Thomas. Out to Bridges. Six to shoot. Rejected by Westbrook. And Russell just bringing it right now on defense. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Here's Thomas. Bridges outside. Jacks up a three. The shot no good. Harden with the defensive effort. Tipped away. Pass to Plumley. Outside Harden. Tucker with a screen. From deep three-point land. The shot off that time. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. Here's Bridges. Using his post moves to get the two points. Bridges has got 20. Well, there are not a lot of ways that Bridges is unable to score. This time he shows off the floater. Los Angeles has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Right side, Harden. Westbrook outside. Here's the three. Counted from distance. 20 points for him. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. And here's Bridges. Pass to Thomas. Screen by Claxton. 14 feet away. The Clippers grab the miss. Harden's got five rebounds in the game. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Uh, he just has physical tools to make you go in there and foul him. Westbrook back to the line. Grant, you look at the league's basketball-related income. Players and owners split it about 50-50. You know, VA, that's why they call it a partnership. You talk about a shared interest. The NBA has really become a leader by example in all of professional sports. Zubats, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Leonard comes in for Tucker. Russell Westbrook just out there and focused, trying to find ways in which he can help out his team to secure any win. Here's Sharp. Pass to Schroeder. Back to Sharp. Five to shoot. Here's Bridges. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. You know, Westbrook scoring, it comes in bunches, but such a key to it all is for him to get himself to the free throw line. He's top 40 all time in free throw attempts. And he's good on the second. Yeah, sometimes in a game you settle a little bit before settling in. And right now, I think he's a big factor in how they're getting to the line. Schroeder passes to Claxton. Back to Schroeder. 
Here's Bridges. That one falls. Coming off Schroeder's feed. Bridges has got six in the quarter. Mikel really showing a nice confidence in that shot right there as his shooting percentages are trending up. Inside. Shoots from the block. Leonard can't get it to go. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Nets. It's a 14-point game. And at home for the next game, it'll be New York pulling in to face him. That game starts a nice five-game homestand for him. Schroeder. Denied by Leonard. Wow, with Claude doing what he does best, using that length on the defensive end. The offensive rebound. Brooklyn's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Schroeder against Harden. Outside Johnson from deep. And they recover it. Goes back up. And Claxton gets the bucket. You have to appreciate guys who can work the mid-range area. It's clearly how you keep defenses honest. Oh, man, that is just easy for him out there. At his size with that kind of touch, that is money. And the Clippers with the ball. Following the bucket by the Nets. George, no good. Now here's Johnson. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Sharp. Back to Schroeder. To the left wing. Takes the three. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. Los Angeles has got four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. Westbrook finds George. Leonard for three. Oh, Leonard laces it in from distance. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. Oh, 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 my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. man he's checked in for the Clippers they absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead no question B.A. no reason to let up just keep playing your game and it's slammed in by Zubats wow Zubats way up And the Nets shooting just 38% for this game so far. Harden against Schroeder. From deep, Johnson. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Leonard's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Harden with it. He's picked up by Schroeder. Harden, the pass to Leonard. of it we've got a minute 48 left in the game from behind the arc and Schroeder with the three well not known as an outside Schroeder he's definitely working on his three point accuracy George against Johnson and the call will be against Nicholas Claxton that's his third foul so far Johnson against George. Fires for three. Claxton with a rebound. Brooklyn has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Johnson finds Schroeder. A minute 15 left to play in the fourth. Yeah, you got to be careful with Schroeder. He's explosive. And he's good at finding his way to the line because he uses that quickness well. Free throw good. Schroeder. And 
and both free throws good for Schroeder. They've got time on their side here, Grant. And if they're smart, they'll milk the clock a little. And the clock will wind down on this one. Just a solid effort and a good win for the Clippers. And it was dueling three-pointers all night. A battle they won. Both teams had the same plan. Win the game on the perimeter. So fun to watch. That'll do it for this one. They've earned their 27th victory of the year tonight. And that's a sweep of the season series. It's clear who the matchup favored. They wish they could have seen more of these guys. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Paul George. Just active on defense, little things like clawing and strapping and tipping passes and contesting shots. Came up with a lot of steals. Harden, the pass to man. Just five to shoot. Fires from 14. George with the bucket. George has got 38 points. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. That's pretty much not how they will defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Two-second difference between shot and game clock. Leonard outside. Pass to Zubac. Down low. Harden finds Zubac. And it's slammed in by Zubac. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. Yeah, huge motivation. Always great for a young team. But veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. So it's the Clippers winning this one easily. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? James, this team seems to be clicking. What's been the key lately? Uh, we're just more aggressive. More aggressive. Uh, guys are getting it, and we're playing much harder. It's a good win for us. Continue to build and continue to keep our swagger. Uh, uh, great team effort for us. It's up to you to keep them aggressive. Congrats on the win. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Berry, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. Last but not least, here is your new balance player of the game, Paul George.